Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing a doodle crate and I am very excited to get into this and to see what this month has in store for us. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button. And let's open this crate. Okay, so this month's box is a Shibori, I honestly do not know, messenger bag. So that's, that's what it looks like right there. And it says use traditional dyeing techniques to create a unique canvas bag. So I'm interested to learn what that even means because I don't really know. Okay, so when we open it up, here is this little picture on the front of what it looks like. So we have our instructions in here and this usually contains some history too. So I'll have to read this to figure out what this kind of dyeing is anyway. And then we have a bottle. It already looks like it has some powder in it. So that must, I wonder if it's like the blue powder we're gonna use here. So we can see that in there. And then we have some gloves, probably cause it's gonna dye our fingers too. Lots of rubber bands. So like a tie dye type thing, I think, where you're gonna wrap it and tie it. And then, I don't know what these are for, just a couple wood pieces right there. And this is a plastic baggy thing. I don't know. <laughs> this is what it is. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those little uh, bags or nets, or I don't know what you call them, that used to come with perms, like when I was a child and I'd get a perm, and you'd like put it over your head, <laughs> over the curlers. That's what it, that's the vibe it's giving me. And then we have these. I don't know what this is for. This looks pretty cool. So they're just two big white and they have some little buttonhole type things in them. So that'll be fun to see. And then here's our bag. So this has buttonholes on it. So I wonder if we're gonna dye these and then attach them to the bag. So this is the bag, it has our string. And then when we open it up, it just, you know, it's a good size bag. You could, she could put her little books in it or something. You know, she doesn't really have like a laptop or a tablet or anything. So that's what's in this box. I think last month we did a bag too. Was it last month or the month before? It might've been a couple months. So I feel like we've had a few bags lately, but it'll be fun to see how we're able to make this one. So I'm gonna let her get at it and we will let you know how it goes. her doodle crate and we had a lot of fun doing it. I think it was a fairly hands-off project. It was just a lot of sitting in the dye time and then drying time and stuff like that. So there wasn't as much work to do initially. So we're gonna hold it up so you can see. Here you go. So this is the part she did. She basically tie-dyed it, kind of, that's the idea. And it gives you two of these cloths, I guess, that you can tie-dye. And you can either just choose to put one of them on the bag, or you can sew them together. So she decided to sew them together. And they do give a specific kind of stitch in here, but we, we didn't use that stitch, but you could. So back here, it gives that idea. So it doesn't come with thread for this. This is just if you wanna be extra creative. So I just have a lot of cross-stitch thread, embroidery thread, so we just used that, and it worked well. So, and then also when we first put it all together, 
I think we might have used too much dye because this side we didn't really get any circles so this is supposed to be our circle side but yeah is there one yes there's one faint one right there <laughs> but there really isn't any other circles so you know maybe supposed to turn out like this but ours didn't so I think that it might just be too much dye so maybe just do little drops and let it spread you know but it's not going to spread right away so you might just let it spread for a while instead of covering all the white initially and it says to use a little bit of dye but again it doesn't cover it doesn't just spread like it would if it was like a really thin paper and you dropped some paint on it it takes a long time so you might just have to let it sit and see how much it spreads and then add more dye if you need to but this side turned out pretty well it's not exactly the same i think it's supposed to be a, a little bit like this one right here that you see but I still felt like it turned out pretty well. And that's the one you, you fold it and put it between the blocks. So what was your favorite part, Alana? Um, uh, getting to sew it together. Getting to sew it together. So she had a fun time sewing it together. Mm -hmm. And then just a quick thing about the sewing, and then we'll let you tell her tell you her the hardest part, is we sewed it inside out. <laughs> I think this is, I would think that this edge right here would go on the inside of the bag, but the dye takes differently to each side of the fabric. And so these sides looked better than the, than the right side. So we sewed them inside out and I think it looks fine and it looks great. So what do you think was the hardest part? Getting the, put the rubber band Yes, on. the rubber bands, especially so for this one, you just put a whole bunch of rubber bands on the cloth like this down here at the bottom and that was hard for her she tried to do it but i ended up doing it for her so that that was a hard part for her but again this took several days we let it because you have to put it in the dye overnight and then you rinse it out the next day and then we let it dry and then we ironed it so it'd be nice you know and flat and then she sewed it so it took several days of of working on it but just little bits on each of those days so we're excited to see what next month has in store for us and if you like these kind of videos please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time bye